Chandu, the magician. Next Monday, at this same time, the makers of White King will continue the thrilling story of Chandu, the magician. And tomorrow, Saturday, when you do your weekend shopping, be sure at the head of the list, you write the words, White King. You'll like White King for washing clothes and for washing dishes, too. There's something about a dishpan full of nice, warm soap suds that makes a woman feel that her dishes will come out really clean. Every tiny granule dissolves completely in your dishwater, whips up to billowy clouds of suds. And White King suds rinse away quickly and completely, too, when you douse your dishes with hot water. Leave china, glassware, and silver so extra bright they dry in a jiffy. White King soap is extra kind to hands, too. It is so easy on lovely hands that thousands and thousands of ladies who use it say, I love White King. Yes, indeed, for washing clothes or dishes, you'll love White King. In Cairo, Frank Chandler has learned that the venomous dwarf, Arenye the Spider, is in the pay of Roxor. And Arenye's bitterness against the world has crystallized into hatred of Betty Region, on whom he has invoked the curse of the white flower learned in the far-off African jungle. By his occult powers, Chandler brings the dwarf to the door of Naji's home, where Bob seizes him. But Dorothy's fear for Betty produces a storm of anger against Arenye, and even Chandler seems powerless to help Betty, lying unconscious under the fatal spell. Chandu, the magician. Stop that, I tell you. Stop oh, then. You're only making it worse. Oh, your magic's no use, just when we need it most. It's you, Dot. Look. The crystal full of angry clouds. If that dwarf can do this to Betty, then evil stronger than good. Why don't you just admit it? It is. As long as you give it power. I look at her. So white and still, and I never even heard of this curse before. And now that you have, you give in to it. Well, you can't do anything. How can I? You could be still. And let me try. Will you do that, Dot? Yes, yes. Yogi, my teacher, I ask your help. Yes, I am listening. You see? There's nothing in the crystal at all. Don't you see it, Dot? A snowy mountaintop. Can't you hear him? No. What's he saying? I hear your voice, my teacher. But your face is hidden. Near the mountaintop, where the way divides. I understand. What is it, Frank? You look as if you heard something dreadful. The path that goes down into the shadow. Not Betty. The shadow of my sister's fear. Yes. I understand. I have allowed it to fall upon me. But you have shown me the other path. I know the way now. Up into... Hey, the sunrise. I see it too. And she's all right now. Betty, it's only a dream. Awake. I'm right here, dear. I was having the most terrible dream. Oh, darling, I know. Jeepers. Then, then look, Uncle Frank. Arrhenius passed right out. Of course he has. Take him downstairs, Bob, and hand him over to Abu. Are you just going to let him go? Oh, hardly. I don't want him to see Ben Ali before I get back there. Hmm. Okay. Come on, pal. Will you be surprised when you wake up? Oh, he's just like some horrible rag doll. Oh, don't look at him, darling. Frank, where are you going? I want to talk to Naji about this. Can't you do it in the morning? Well, she ought to know about it now, Dad, before I go back to Ben Ali's. He's just making an excuse to talk to her alone. He's hardly seen her since we came back to Cairo. Now, Betty. You know, I've always said it would be marvelous to have a princess for an aunt. It's time you were in bed. You always change the subject whenever I say anything about Naji and Uncle Frank. But I... But, Mother, I am in bed. Yes, but you haven't... With all my clothes on. Well, don't you know how sleepy you were downstairs? Here, give me your dress and I'll hang it up for you. Well, but what was Arrhenia doing here? 
I thought he was in my dream. Now, we're not going to talk about him anymore tonight. I'm going to sit here right beside your bed until you go to sleep. How dark these alleys are. It is so, FND. And yet behind these black walls are even now the delights of love. And women suffering their husbands' blows. Men killing each other with knives. But, Sush, what an imagination. Uh, in the East, Effendi, one sees what one sees. <laughs> ha! Here's the cafe of the three beggars. Ah, uh, the street of the thieves is truly named. Does the doorway in the far corner lead to Ben Ali's own quarters here? And there is a passageway beyond the Chengdu. Don't but... use that name here. I will, I can be. Let's find a place as near that doorway as we can. Batouche, quick. Through here while Noah's looking. Don't be along here somewhere behind the curtains. I got a glimpse of it when a man went in. Ah, oh, yes, here it is. Are you? You dare not walk into such a room in the street of the thieves. Yeah, stand here beside me. Ben Ali doesn't know me. So tell him I'm a magician looking for work. Ah, uh, Ben Ali looks for other kinds of entertainment. But too, magi- I know what I'm doing. I can't trust my thieves' quarter dialect, so I won't speak. You interpret for me. You're not afraid. No. I know these men. They are not only thieves, but murderers. Uh, Arrhenie may have told Ben Ali. Enter! Enter! I don't think he's seen Ben Ali. I'm going to chance it. Batouche! Tafadar! Enter! <laughs> so, you have decided the amusement in my cafe is not too odious. For a good Muslim, after all. I have brought you a magician, Ben Ali. He can perform great feats of magic to amuse those who visit your cafe. Bring him in. Seat yourself. <laughs> I will send for wine. Oh, not for you, Batush, but the magician. What is your name? Uh, he cannot hear you nor speak, Ben Ali. If he could, he would be high in the favor of the Ferengi. He is a great magician. I have not seen him in this street before. No, he is from far away. I knew him there long ago. He waves his hands. What is the magician trying to tell you, Batouche? Uh, he would have me tell you he had learned his magic in Bilad al Hind. Ah, he is Hindi. I have heard they know many secrets. Ava, and because he does not hear, the wickedness of the world is far from him. He has gained great power. Ah, he. Can he tell what is to come to me with the year? Ah, he can tell all things of the sky, of the sea, of the earth, and under the earth. Marasana. Hey, watch him, Ben Ali. Now, you see, he will have you take the small mirror from him. Now, here, here, hold it between your hands. The music. What is that? He can call music from the air you breathe. Morasana. Now, now you are to look into the mirror. He will know what you see. I see a winding road. It is the road to Mecca. Does the magician mean I am Tuta? Ah, he shakes his head. But if he cannot hear what I say... He reads it in your mind, Ben Ali. Nothing is hidden from him. Aye. It is Kaaba, the center of Mecca itself. See the pilgrims kissing the black stone. See the veil of silk. Magician, what is the meaning? Ah, it is finished. Give him the mirror. Not now, Kemal. Keep him out. I will call you. Uh, who is it Kemal has brought now? Uh, only a poor Egyptian. I, uh, I know you hide such men from the police. Um, uh, what is his crime? I know not. Ask the magician. Uh, wait, Ben Ali. The magician would know what the crime is. Why does he concern himself? Tell with... him. It may be written in the stars that this Egyptian and the magician are to me. Bismillah. I hold the Egyptian for one I serve. But it is not for a crime. There is a secret he will not reveal. Ah, you would know the secret? The magician will force him to give it up. Even my master could not do so much. 
Tonight, the Egyptian is to be hidden once more from a man who seeks to take him away. Ah, this is not work for me. If I had known before my master went away from Cairo, I would have told him. Hey, but it is written, a man who takes the hand of the devil can never let it go. My stukul. You know the one you serve is evil. He is great. Watush. What is it the magician would tell me? Uh, do not let the magician know this prisoner of your master is standing outside the door in the passageway. You understand? Keep it from your mind. How can it be? I must be ready to kill him when the moment comes. Uh, what do you say? Once you escape from my master, if any man approaches to take him again... Ashara! No! Tell the magician I am ready to hear. Uh, a moment, Ben Ali. Uh, he has not eaten for long. Have food brought and he will tell you. Many things. I myself will bring it. Nisa, Nisa, food and coffee. You think the prisoner is the Effendi region? I'm sure of it, Batrus. Find out where they're going to take him. Careful. He does not look to be an American. I think he is an Egyptian. Move away from me. Quick. Here is food for you, magician. Were you speaking in his ear, Batush? <laughs> now, how could that be? Since he cannot hear, uh, give him the food. Aiwa, may he find help. What is it you wish to tell me? I am to say, there is a way to gain merit in the eyes of him you serve. I have the prisoner. Is this not enough? And let the prisoner be brought to face the magician. He will cause him to reveal the secret he holds. Your master will rejoice. And you will be honored. Aye. If he can do this, he is indeed great. For nine years, my master has sought to learn the secret. Give me. Bring him in. Uh, tell him. Tell him to look into the eyes of the magician. Huh? Oh, look. The ring on his hands. It is he. You know the ring. Agil, you have tricked me. Kill him! Take the regent to the place of silence! Kill him if they come near him! Oh, you will not try to fight them all. No, they'll kill regents. Robert! Robert, don't you understand? It's Frank! Go, Governor Frank! Kill his infidels! Go with them, Robert! Watch for a message! If I interfere, they'll kill you! Go with them! Before we say good evening, to suggest that you and your family listen to Chandu every weekday evening at this time. And for your family wash, we'd like to have you try the soap we make. White King Granulated Soap. If you think that a washing machine soap should make suds, plenty of rich, thick, energetic suds, then you'll love White King. For White King makes plenty of suds. Suds that stay up even when your wash water cools down. And White King suds are so full of wash day energy, they wash your clothes clean and wash them fast. Why, even your most badly soiled bath towels, your food-stained table linens, and the youngsters' grimy play togs come clean in White King's rich, creamy suds. So on your radio, listen to Chandu the Magician every weekday evening and in your weekly wash. Remember to use White King granulated soap. Nothing washes like soap, and there is no soap like White King for your washing machine. Chandu the Magician is presented for your enjoyment every weekday evening. Special musical effects are by Corla Pondin. The makers of White King invite you to listen again Monday at this time when the story resumes. Chandu, the magician. This is the Mutual Don Lee Broadcasting System.